Hey guys, Rich here. Welcome back uh, to the RC Informer YouTube channel. Got Steve on the camera, and today I have a flying foam crate to show all of you. Now, it's this is actually, folks, this is the AF, uh, the FMS ASW 17 2500 millimeter glider. Um, this is the first flight out. We have not flown it. I just got it together. It assembles in just a few minutes, and I used the foam crate that it came in to make a transport case out of it, top and bottom. So. If you guys want to see how this is done, you want a kind of a little more tutorial, please ask. And I'll probably just make a separate video on like where to cut and everything. But it actually fit in almost just the way it came out of the box. You can see the holes in it. I carved out a few things. But this is simply awesome for transporting it where you don't have to take anything off really but the wings and the, uh, and the spar. So uh, you can see how nice this is just coming out of the box. I'll get the wings here. It's really a pretty darn simple airplane to get together. It literally assembled in just a few minutes and I'll take the wings out and we'll get the fuselage out. Now, this comes in the box pretty much the way you see it um, except for the uh, elevator it just slides on and you connect a rod and you connect a rod to your rudder and then your wings go right in and there's two spars here. Uh, everything plugs together everything's a wireless wing, to get, uh, wing uh, connector and you essentially folks build this airplane in just a few minutes. It goes together that quick. Um, a couple differences to this airplane and uh, the stock airplane is that um, I put some stripes on it. You can see right here, it's got a stripe on the top of the wing. It's got a blue stripe on the bottom. I put those there. Same thing on the horizontal uh, stabilizer. You can see right there. Because this plane is all white, it's very scale and um, it will disappear in the sky probably because it's all white. There's no, no detail on the bottom, so I just put that on. Um, the canopy here comes off nicely. It's a very nice new push button design. You can see here from FMS, it's spring-loaded as well. It's a very nice design. Can you get on that, Steve? It's got a spring-loaded deal there and a latch and very nice, nice textured canopy as well. Um, 40 amp ESC, 750 kV motor. And uh, your spars, I went ahead and stored my spars inside, folks. My canopy's going to blow away on me. And those simply just plug right in here. I'm going to kind of connect those together. Me and Steve are trying to do this in one shot, folks. Uh, check us out on Instagram, guys. We're going to have lots of pictures of this and on Twitter as well. We'll have photos of this all over the place. The only reason I have the tool is because there is a little hole. Steve, I don't know if you can get that. Can you focus? There's a little hole there that you want to put this through and just give it a little tighten to get just to get the play out of the threads. You want to do that in both sides. And uh, there we go. That's on nice. And then the rest of the assembly is pretty straightforward. You just take our wing. The wing is super nice. Steve, get in on that. Uh, if you guys check out the unboxing, and the setup of this and the assembly, which takes a few minutes. I literally assembled it in six minutes coming out of the box. I'll give you more detail on this, but you can see the nice covers you have for your servos. You've got uh, skids on the tip, and then you've got these really nice metal spars that run the length of the ailerons and the flaps. And then best of all, it has a really tough carbon spar running through, so this thing is super rigid. And then look at that leading edge. Steve, you see that? It's an all plastic sheath leading edge like I've never, I've never seen a, an RC plane um, like that or a glider. And then to get the wings on, Steve, you want to zoom in on this part? This whole thing is plastic. It has a wireless wing connector right there that plugs into that wing connector. Can you get all that? Yep. And that all just snaps together. You've got these two little catches right here that snap. I put my own CG mark on it. I think it was like 70 to 80 or something from the factory and it seems to uh, it seems to uh, balance well there and we'll find out now here soon too when we go fly it. But all you gotta do folks is just slide this baby on. You go ahead and you flip it and I'll show you what this looks like on the other side. As you put your body against one side and something on the other side, you ease it together. Steve, can you get in on this part? You watch those catches come in and they snap out and that's it, you're locked in. That's all you gotta do. Same thing with the, uh, with the other wing. And that's really it, the tail actually just slides right in place. You can take that off, transport that in the box as well if you want to, but I, rather than mess with the linkages, I just decided to carve some holes uh, in the box and get that thing, and get that thing on there so I don't have to take the tail off. Same thing, we'll just check the underside. 
Let's see what we got. Did it lock in? Both sides locked in nice. You got a wheel here. You got intake cooling. You got NACA vents. Can you see all that okay, Steve? NACA vents here for intake, intake down here, louvers for the speed controller, and exhaust. So that gets everything over the speed controller and the battery. Um, let's see up towards the tail. You got a tail skid also. And this thing is rigid, folks. The wind is trying to take it from me. Steve, you want to get on that wind sock? Show people how windy it is here right now. It's nice, it's steady, but it's about 10 knots or so, 10, 15 knots or so. And we're going to fly this in there, and it should be just perfect uh, for that. A um, couple other small details. Steve, you see right here, they made the edge of this plastic. So, yeah, so you don't tear that off. It's pretty nice. The airplane has flaps, too. And there is a rigid, rigid, not only through the wings, but through the tail. There's a rigid carbon spar. And I'll show you that in the unbox video if you guys want to check that out. But it's very rigid, this thing. I'm dying to fly this. I think it's going to be a very cool sport glider. Um, and then the inside looks like that. You got that, Steve? Very nice interior. Um, there is Velcro supplied with the kit, but as usual, I put my my uh, double-sided foam tape or put my um, um, shelf liner with double-sided scotch tape. Um, and then I just use friction to hold it down. That's it. Folding propeller is very nice. The brake is already applied, or the you'll, we'll talk about that when we get it fired up. And uh, my receiver's right back in there. Got one antenna right here, one antenna right here just taped down. And uh, that's it, Steve. Now to fly this, folks, it's a 4S. Let's see what we got. You don't have to focus on that. It's fully charged. We're good to go. I'm going to use this Spectrum 2230C. We'll get that baby, uh, get that in there. Let's put it in. I think I'll put it in this way. I'm going to lean towards the front. Or actually put it just right under these two straps. Towards the front as best I can, just for more stability. But uh, it sh we should be good to go. As long as you tighten it down enough, that double-sided, uh, or the, uh, whatchamacallit there, the shelf liner should keep that in there pretty nice. Here we go. Let's get this twisted a little bit. All right, Steve, you ready to rock? All right, let's see. I'm going to pull this. I put an adapter in here, which we don't need. Um, if you have um, EC3s, they'll fit with these IC3s nicely. I'm just testing the fit. They test well. So let's plug it in the proper way. We'll get our radio on. We're going to do a thro th uh, prop calibration really fast. So let me put this back here in my pocket. Let's move this towards the edge so we don't mess up anything. We want to ding up our nice prop just in case. And let's see, we've got the uh, right airplane. I'm going to do a throttle calibration. We're in full throttle now. And let's plug this in. Make sure we're good to go because this is the first flight. There we go. It looks like it's booting up. We'll come back, let it boot. One, two, three, four, and that's it. So we should have power. I'll give it just a little bit of a run up here. There's our prop working and folding out. We bring our power back to idle, and the brake comes on. The wind will hit the props and fold it. So it's working nicely. Let's get that off of there, and let's uh, get this back in place. You ready to go, Steve? Yeah. Let's see what we got. Oh, this thing has flaps, too. So let's do a quick flight control check. This is, this is our first time out here. Let's get this uh, wire down by the side, and let's put this back in here. There we go. I love this. Look at this, Steve. This is the coolest battery latch I think I've seen. If that canopy comes off, I'm going to be upset. So let's get our flaps up. Let's do a quick flight control check. I'm going to flip this baby around. Let's see here. Since this is a long flight and demo, folks, I'll probably put a table of contents at the bottom, possibly. That's high, medium, and low. Check our elevator. Let me test our linkages real quick here. Make sure everything looks good. Everything's tightened down. First flight out. Make sure everything's good. I think we're tight, Steve. We're looking good, looking good. Let me check that last one. Thank God I put these stripes on there. I bet you when we get up there, we're going to go like, oh, geez, without those stripes, I don't think we'd see this thing all that well. So, um, all right, let's see what we got. Pointing it into the wind, which is probably is going to take off here, so, or it might. Check my flight controls, right, left, up, down. Let's get everything in. In fact, here's my high rate. Take a look at the ailerons there, Steve. That's my high rate aileron. I got a lot in there. That's my 100%, and that's at 125, the high. The high is at 125. That's 100, and that's 70. So that's my low 70 rate. I want to see, see it banking? That's how much wind there is hitting this thing. Elevator, same thing, 100%, up, down. And then there's 
uh, there's 125, 100, and then there's uh, 70%. So we got it all set. I'll start at 100 with everything. Flaps, let's take a look at those. And this is the unknown. I don't know the elevator to flap mixing, so we're going to try the flaps out. You're probably going to need the flaps to slow this down. And we'll kind of mess with the elevator to flap mixing as we need it. So anyway, folks, I think we're good to go. All the linkages, everything looks good. You ready, Steve? Let's walk on out there. We just don't have time to edit, so me and Steve are just doing this all in one take. Here we go. All right, man, ready? Let's see what we got. Right, left, up, down. Check my rudder, left and right. We're good there. Let's take the safety off. Let's power it up a bit. Yeah, there we go. You ready? Let's pull that back. Here we go. Yep, goes right up there. Yeah, it does look like a U-2 spy plane. Oh man, I can already tell already. I know the sky's blue, but my lord, without that, without those stripes, we might be screwed, yeah. Let's see here, folks. I am not a glider aficionado, folks, so, you know, this is really not my forte, but I got power off and I'm just gliding it. I haven't touched the trim. I'm gonna bank it left a little bit. But I'm just going to leave power off and see what it does. So I, I see this plane as a little bit more of a uh, kind of a competition type glider. And Steve, I'm going to try not to kill your neck too much. Sorry about that. But that's what that's glider flying for you. I tell you, it looks like this thing will stay up there like all darn day. Power's still off. I mean, look at that thing. It'll just glide forever. You see those stripes, folks? This thing would disappear quite a bit without those stripes. Let's bring it down. I'll bring it in kind of fast here, Steve. Let's turn it into the wind. I don't want to be afraid to use power, but I haven't used any power yet. I'm just kind of gliding it around. There we go. Pretty nice. Very nice. Very calm. You could probably stay up quite a while with this thing. It's not like the Fox glider where that's more of a sport glider. This thing has a good glide ratio to it. Let me power it up. Okay, well, let me come by under power, Steve, just for the heck of it. All right, I'll turn it around. I'll bring it back into the wind. Come in with power again, just for the heck of it. This is not what you do with a glider, but just to mess with it. And let me do one more thing. Let's test the flaps out. Let's see what the flaps do. I'll put one setting of flaps down. It is ballooning a bit. I'll put another setting down. It's ballooning a little bit more, but I think we're going to need them to really slow this thing down. So that's full flaps. I don't know if I'm going to need all that, but yeah, because the nose pitches down with too much flaps. So. But you need some drag to really slow this thing down. Let's see if we can get a landing out of it, Steve. Yeah, you can see I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a seasoned glider guy. That's with one setting of flaps. I think my full flaps is probably too much. But with the flaps, you can really get it down easy. Let's send it back up there again. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, it just goes and goes. All right, Steve, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take it far away or up high. So it's not quite so on top of us, but power's off now. And that's it, it'll glide all darn day long. It's into the head, it's into the wind right now, but here, Steve, film me. Film me for a second. I mean, I'm hands off, no gyro, folks. And there it is. The wind kind of got it. Let me get uh, let me get it trimmed a bit. There we go. All right, Steve, film me again. Look, my no hands. All right, it's over top of you now. You got it. There you go. Sorry about that. Steve doesn't like these neck benders. I don't blame him. <laughs> Let's bring it by hot here, Steve. Come by quick. No power. This plane needs little to no power. 
I mean, it's amazing how much energy like it'll store. Power's off. Very nice. Touch and go, baby. Let's see how aerobatic it is. It's really, wow, it's got, that's full aileron. Let's try looping it. Very nice. Now you can probably separate up your servos, put in crow, all kinds of cool things. Let's loop it around there. Yeah, it does a tight loop. All right, let's bring it all in. Slow again. Just glide it, no power. Yeah, it'll glide all day. You can land it without the flaps. I just did it there. But the flaps are really going to help with uh, managing the energy of it, for sure. But very smooth, very nice glider. It has a good ratio, glide ratio to it. Let's do some aerobatics with it. Very cool, very cool. But it'll stay up here all day, folks. I think we would have an hour-long video if I glide, we just gl wouldn't glide this thing all day long. Let's see how it does, just for the heck of it. Inverted. Looks like it does okay. Yeah, it does well. Yeah, very easy upside down. I got power off upside down here. <laughs> That might be my first power off inverted pass, Steve. There we go, I'll add a little bit. Clearly it's more efficient with the wings right side up, so. But it does it. Power off. Nice fun plane just to fly around. Very cool, very cool. What else, Steve, do we got? Yeah, I mean, we, you, fl you could fly all day long with this thing. The motor is really just there to get it up there, like we're doing now, and then power off, find some thermals, and just sort of fly around. Follow the birds. The birds usually know where to go, which there aren't any here. <laughs> so probably not a lot of thermals today, but it'll stay up there for quite a while. There's no doubt that it's, uh, it's definitely an awesome glider. Very cool. Guys, if you like this video, Please like and subscribe, share, share our uh, videos around. Hit that notification bell to get more like this. I mean, look at that, Steve, it just hangs there. I'm not even touching the controls, I'm just letting it. Here, look. <laughs> I'm just kind of letting it go there, guys. It'll go quite a while. I got it all trimmed up, it'll go for a bit. The wind's gusting and it's just kind of keeping it up there, so very nice. I will right, we'll turn it around. I'm not even going to use any power. I'm just going to turn it around and bring it in here. Let's see. It'll just glide and glide and glide. You can get a lot of mileage out of a battery with this, clearly. Still no power. Wow, it's very cool. Very nice glider. Let's see if I can get it in to land it here. Actually, even without the flaps, you can kind of control it. Power it up, let's go around. Yeah, it doesn't need the flaps to land, really, as long as you manage the energy right. It's if you do one of these where you come in fast and you can't get it down because it's just got so much energy. You just don't need all that speed. You can see it'll float and float and float and float and float and float. When I was in college, I flew uh, Grove motor gliders where it had a motor, we turned it off, you know? And that wasn't really a true glider, but it would go all day long. You needed to deploy the spoilers to get it to come down. Otherwise, you could not land it. It would just go forever. So, And this is that way. If you turn in, come in hot, uh, without flaps, it will go quite a distance. So, And there it goes. I haven't had the power on. It's just going and going and going. And you'll end up landing way down here. So the flaps will help you manage the energy a little bit better, get it slowed down quick enough. Very nice though. Let's roll it around. Very cool, very cool. It's very manageable at the uh, high uh, rates even too. But if you get it down low, without flaps even, manage the energy with it, 
give it time to slow down. Power is off. I don't have any power. And it still stores all that energy. Look at that. And we're going into the wind. So you can get it down. But it's a little hot. I'll just go around with it. Power's off. Very cool. Don't hit the wind sock. <laughs> Here, let's see. You can bleed your piece of your power off or bleed your speed off in the turn for sure. Now my speed looks a little better. I ought to be able to get it down fairly nicely. And that's it. So let me go grab it. Here we go. <laughs> Film a little low level stuff. I think it was a great idea to put some stripes on this. I would highly recommend that, folks. Very nice. And like I said, you can take this up, stay up all day. Steve, you got any commentary? No, what this is the epitome of right out of the box. Yeah, it really is. I mean, it's well, it, it went together, just assembly. It's just a few minutes. Let me see if I can manage the energy here to touch down, get it up in the air, powers up. That's with flaps. So for those of you who want to glide and stay up all day long, this is not like the FMS Fox glider. This is, like I said, a little bit more of a competition kind of level or grade glider. People are probably going to laugh at me when I say that, but man, look at that. It just stays up there. It's very, very cool. But uh, guys, we're on Instagram. Every day we'll have pictures up. Twitter as well. Please follow us there. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. We got more new stuff coming from FMS. All right, Steve, I think it's time to bring it in. We'll come by hot without any energy or without any uh, power. All right, let's see if I can turn it around. I'm going to use a little rudder in this turn. And I think I can land it way down range there. I've lost enough energy, but I'm going to power just a little bit because I don't want to walk over there. Just a little energy will make this thing go a much longer way. So let's put it down right in front. See, even that was too much. So, but very cool. You can keep it level with your engines, even in this light. See, the wind is blowing on it, and I can bank it even with just the wind blowing over it. Hit my safety. Very cool glider, Steve. Very impressed with this, guys. Again, in the upper right-hand corner, check out the assembly guide, the uh, uh, unboxing, because I go into a lot of detail. There's a lot of really cool details to check out with this airplane. My most notable thing that I really think is cool is this leading edge. It has a plastic leading edge going the length of this, so you will not ding it. It has carbon spars throughout the wing, so it's actually pretty darn tough. It has an aluminum block in the middle where all those spars connect together. It has a big old carbon spar going down this tail, so it's, it's a very rigid glider. Very, very cool. They are making some nice stuff at FMS, so Textured canopy. I don't know. Can you see that, Steve? It has a cool textured canopy. I don't know why, but it's cool. Uh, and then let's take a look at the battery. Let's see what we used, how much energy we used. I ran the motor a bit. Guys, just stay out here for half hour, hour or more probably easily with this thing, especially if you got some wind and thermals. Here, take a look at the wind socks, Steve. Head on out there and look. See what you got there. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a little windy, but that's perfect for it, folks. Um, let's see, I'll get the battery out. Let's take a look and see what we got. It's only a little warm. We hardly used it. This plane doesn't really need the battery so much, really, just to get it up into the sky. But very cool, guys. I like this thing. Let's see. Let's see. Again, I'm not a, a glider aficionado, so all you guys out there who are glider nuts, talk to me. Tell me what I'm doing wrong and saying wrong, because I am not a glider person. Can you get on that? What are you saying? 35? Is that what it looks like? I'm not even going to put my glasses on. If you got it, that's cool. But uh, you can fly all day. You can put an even bigger battery if you really want to go that far. You can actually even put a lighter four cell pack in there and uh, make it make it super light. So any guys, anyway guys, if you do want one of these, check it out uh, in our links in the description below. 
Um, if you guys get one through our links, that supports our channel. We do appreciate it. Look at the massive size of this darn thing. Put some stripes on it, folks. You're going to want some stripes on it. I, I, I heard something that someone said it's very white, especially the underside. You notice the underside's got no markings on it at all. This is just that sticky trim that you get from hobby shops, you know, that comes in those long sheets. I just stuck that on there uh, just to keep it... Uh, visible when it's way up there and then the little tips on the end tops not so bad because it has this big FMS on it and it's got these uh, st uh, and, and, and this and the tail has a little bit of, of detail in fact the tail has a little neon flag there so I decided to oh, the winds blowing it decided to try to match that with the wingtip stripes and it's it's perfect so uh, but anyway guys we appreciate you watching more FMS stuff is coming so please like and subscribe <laughs> Hit that notification bell because when we got new planes coming, which they are coming, we'll put them on the channel and hit that notification bell is the way for you guys to get notified when we put them out. Um, anything else, Steve? All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Steve, thanks for filming. Check out the FMS ASW-17. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. All right. Let's see a uh, little post video footage here. Getting it back in the box. All right, I got the battery out of it. Let's see. Uh, all right, you ready, Steve? Yep. This is our first time putting it back in the box, too. All right, let's see what we got here. We're gonna need this. Let's just take, actually, the way you gotta do it, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. I'm gonna grab, put my body on one side of it, squeeze those together, and then wiggle it a bit and then pull it out. There you go. Slide that apart. There we go. Same thing. It's better to do this from underneath. You can do it with one person, as long as it's not too windy, because the wind will take it away. I'll try and get on this, Steve, so you can see it a little better here. Again, your body up against the fuselage, one hand kind of here, but squeeze the two. Can you get all that in there? Yep. Squeeze it, wiggle it front to back, until they unlock and that's it. That seems to be the best way, but you need to have some, something here and something here to kind of pull it, pull it off of there. And then, uh, let's see, we'll lay this down carefully. And then we'll get these things off here, let's see. And uh, it is important, I think, folks, to have just something like this to tighten it down with, and you're gonna need it to take it off. Just because if you hand tighten it, they tend to wobble a little bit and just making it tight to get them in place and then just using this to loosen it. I think it's the way to go because it's an aluminum spar that screws into an aluminum block. This center, this whole, this middle thing is all just a big block in there. So it's a, it's a, actually an aluminum block, one piece that joins the two. But Steve, I don't know if you can get in on this. I show this in the assembly guide. Can yep. you get in on the spar right here? Yeah. I'll get on it right here. You see how this is steel? Yep. This part's aluminum, so the steel actually threads into the aluminum, so... Um, and that's it, you just unscrew these babies. Put that there. And then I like to put these inside. You just have to be careful when you feed them in, you don't snag any darn wires in there. I kind of push the wires off to the right, carefully watch it as you do it. Get the spars in there, that way you don't lose your spars and forget them, instead of putting them in the box. And then we'll get the canopy on. Get that connector in there. And there we go, we'll get rid of this. And then, hey, you know what? This is gonna be our first reboxing video. I don't think we've ever done a rebox, have we? <laughs> not that I know of. Unbox or rebox, I guess we'll call it a rebox. No, not like the sneakers. Uh, but yeah, if you guys want a tutorial, let me know. I cut that there a little bit, put some notches here. This fits just the way it came in the box, except for the elevator notch that goes in there. And then uh, I put a little notch here and there. So these can go, these normally sit in here, but I push them forward a little bit so they stick out of the front of the box a little, but there's a notch where they go into so it doesn't go back and ding your elevator. All right, let's see, same thing with this one. That one goes in nice. And then that's it, same thing. I did have to cut some holes there. Again, ask me guys if you want one and I'll do a tutorial on this, how to cut this up. But, and you can tape this up and 
That's it, Steve. We're off to Joan Hall. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.